Hello and welcome to episode 50 of the Witch and Knits podcast. I'm Shy, I'm a witch and I knit and I spin and I sometimes crochet, I do. I do all kinds of crafty things and I like to sit down here on this channel sometimes and talk to you guys about it. And uh, we're back again today with another episode. <laughs> I'm forever awkward with um, intros, I'm very sorry. <laughs> So, I don't know quite how long of an episode it'll be today, but um, yeah, episode 50. Woo! <laughs> uh, that's amazing to me that I made 50 episodes of this now, plus several vlogmases and other things. So yeah, that's uh, that's fun. That's interesting. That's great. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer or a very very warm welcome to you if you're new here. Um, yeah, this is my channel <laughs> where I talk about things. I already said that. Let's get into what I have been working on since last time. Um, and we will, of course, as always, start with the uh, whips. The first whip I want to show you is the one that's been a whip for a very long time, but I keep saying I really want to finish this. Um, it's my Moonlit Romp by Vanessa Ewing. And I'm so very nearly done. I wanted to finish this for filming, but, uh, yeah, obviously that didn't happen. But it is so close to done. I have one sleeve complete and my second one is on the ribbing. And, and, the yarn isn't in here, but I won the yarn chicken. I still have some left of the green. I thought I wouldn't, but I still have a little bit left. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like four grams or something. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Next episode I will be wearing it, hopefully. Unless something unexpected happens. Um, but yeah, that's that's the one. It has uh, sleeves. I made them longer. I did a couple of oopsies with this um, where I accidentally didn't swap to the colourwork needle the colour work in the sleeves and I made the ribbing longer because I like my sleeves to go like down to here and uh, I made the body a little bit shorter um, I think that's what I did to change it. Oh yeah I, I messed up with the decreases as well in the sleeves uh, <laughs> oh, it's been messy in my head lately and I don't read very well. Well, I read well but I don't comprehend very well when I'm too stressed. So uh, sometimes I just can't and I make a mistake but you can't tell because on my size I think I have three, two or three decreases in the sleeve in total so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is the Moonlit Romp by Vanessa Ewing. The green is uh, Sea Glass by Curio Stitches, and the black is um, Soft Merino by Vlevo. Yay! Almost done! Almost there. It will be off the needles today, and then I will be having one of those fun evenings with uh, weaving in a ton of ends. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but yeah, that's that one. My second whip is in my Witch and Knits bag and it is a toe. <laughs> it is going to be a sock um, knit out of Stranded's, last year's uh, Stranded Dye Works uh, Christmas colourway zooming home for Christmas. I can't remember the base. I think it's BFL nylon. I'm not sure. But I have a ton left so I'm knitting a pair of socks out of it again. This is the El Has Rune Mitts by Ellie Willis of Curie Stitches that I am test knitting. I have not gotten very far because uh, just like with the jumper <laughs> 
Um, yesterday I was having a hard time just braining anything really. So I read the pattern correctly but realised when I'd done the first repeat that oh I think I read it all wrong let's rip back and then I realised I hadn't done it wrong so that was um, a lot of knitting for absolutely nothing but it doesn't matter uh, it has a texture pattern which I am super super excited about and yeah it's going to have beads I am so excited I love knitting with beads I am going to pair it with these red oh yeah you can see that. red beads <laughs> together with this so yeah it's going to be nice and it's going to be nice and um, textury and pretty. So the beads are going to be just on the cuff um, before any of you start to worry about beads on socks. Uh, they're going to be on the cuff and it's going to be glorious and pretty and beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I'm very very excited about these. As these are a test knit, they're not yet released. The pattern is not yet out. This is going to be released on Friday the 24th of December, which is also Christmas Eve. So if you want to get yourself an early Christmas present, you should go get these when they are released. Um, yeah, very, very excited. I love a good textured sock. So yeah, these, uh, this texture pattern is also on a pair of mitt that Ellie's releasing um, one week after. On New Year's Eve, the 31st of December, um, the uh, mitts with the same texture will be out. So that is super exciting. So that's that's a perfect New Year's Eve cast on. <laughs> and they also have beads. Um, optional, of course, but um, why wouldn't you choose beads, really? They are the best. If you've never tried knitting with beads, you really should try it at some point because it's just so rewarding and fun and you get to use one of these really 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 tiny crochet hooks for it and it's just so much fun so um, yeah excited about that um, and those are my whips except for my shawlography which I will talk about after yeah, after I've shown you all of the other things I've worked on. I know the, the, the cow is over, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's not that far in. Because I just haven't had time with all of my art and everything going on. Uh, I have not had time to work on it. So uh, I, I guess I'm probably not the only one in the same boat. And I don't want to spoiler it for anyone. So I will be showing it after I've shown you all of my other stuff and give you warnings of course and timestamps so you can skip around. But yes, I pose. First of all I want to talk about... I finished, finally, my jack-o'-lantern socks. I have a blocker, I can put them on so I seem more organised than I am. <laughs> I don't... Did I finish these last time? I think I was almost done with my second sock. Um, but not quite. But I am now and I will be grabbing some pictures. I don't know when these will be live on Ravelry, but uh, I will let you know, and I will be posting them on Instagram when I know. Uh, but yeah, these are the Jack-o'-lantern socks by Charlie Couture, and I am really enjoying these. These are so cute. And this is the second one, so it's a, again, textured sock, very squishy, very nice, and yeah, that's that one. It's taken me embarrassingly long to finish these, and I feel terrible for it. Uh, I've said this every time I've shown them, because I should have been done a long time ago, There's there's no like excusing it really. Uh, socks aren't that time consuming but I've just had so much and 
yeah, it's, it's just, I'm sorry. But they are finished and I really like them. And they are blocked and they are ready to be photographed and just, yeah, socks. And then I can wear them, which I'm stoked for. Oh, we have a visitor, an orange visitor. Yes, it's Cheddar. It's Chitty Boy. Tita Cheddar, hi. It's been a while since you were on camera, yeah? Oh, Hamilton Jumper. Yeah, um, cat. Ay, ne, in the cloa. So, um, yeah, I suppose. Second one, and this one is one that has been released now, is I'm going to show you um, the Moonology Socks by, again, Ellie of uh, Curious Stitches. And these are my Moonology <laughs> Socks, I'm sorry, cat. Um, <laughs> oh, shelba. Um, yeah, sock. And I have the second one on the blocker. They don't have the same colour. I'm working on my second one with this colour. Um, this was me knitting on the wrong needles and realising before casting on the second sock. But it looks nice, so I kept it to show you guys. Um, I'm probably yeah, repurposing the lavender yarn for my second, second uh, of this pair. So, uh, this one has been released and is a poor Ravelry. Oh, <laughs> oh god, life with cats. Ah, yes, these are on Ravelry. You can find the link to the pattern, as every other pattern I've been talking about, as always, uh, in the show notes. So, yeah. Moonology sock. Also Moonology. Also Moonology sock. And speaking of Moonology, I have an FO that I cast on a couple of days ago and finished. It's the Moonology hat. Also by Ellie. It's the second one in the Moonology set, I guess you can call it. Uh, it has some cat hair on it because the boy has has been around so I will put it on and show you without messing up my hair thank you very much hat hat it's got the perfect amount of slouch and it's so squishy oh my god and it's so pretty I, I have no idea it Oh yeah, it's on pretty straight. That's good. Um, so yeah. Hat. Yeah. I finished this. This is, uh... A hat. Uh, but yeah, it's also by Ellie. Uh, and it will be released. This is also test knit. Uh, this is not out yet. This will be out on Wednesday the 1st of December. So yeah, get your needles ready. Get some yarn ready and uh, yeah it's it's time for hats I'm very excited now I'm gonna try and remove this without getting stuck the air there we go it's so gorgeous I really like this pattern this was super fun to knit and like I said really quick um, I am very quick with the colour work though but um, I think it took me um, I want to say two days because I, I didn't knit a lot one of the days but three days but not three entire days I could have done this in two um, I could have probably done this in one if I wanted but um, I have other things to work on so yeah um, it's a DK weight hat it's very squishy like I said because it's colour work all around these are my floats <laughs> So yeah, I finished this, not yesterday, but the day before that, and then I wove in the ends today. 
of fulfillment and yeah I'm really excited to wear this it's so cozy so yeah I'm gonna get some good pictures of this for Ravelry and then it is going to be on my head a lot more often <laughs> and now I have just that one the shawlography left to talk about if I remember correct I've forgotten one and it's a whip I'm horrible so I don't know I don't remember when I found these yarns but quite some time back now I found these like a, an entire bag full like a tote bag full of um, these drops uh, cotton viscose yarns um, it is the boy <laughs> um, in a second hand shop sorry my my brain cannot today um, I found them in a second hand shop and I bought them because I like the colours <laughs> as one does um, and I have cast on a uh, jumper <laughs> of my own design uh, which I, I yeah um, it has little leviathan crosses on it and I'm really excited about this. So I, um, yeah, I'm working on this slowly, uh, but surely getting somewhere. It is super fun. This is my own design. Um, I have dropped stitches. I don't want to drop stitches. Crap. I, I, I saved it, but yeah. I'm really, really excited about this one no idea if this is going to ever be published because I have no idea how to uh, grade stuff because my maths brain is um, not the best socks are one thing for an entire jumper I'm, I'm not so sure but maybe maybe one day if people like it um, but yeah <laughs> that is what I'm working on as well as a lot of other things. So, um, excited. Otherwise I'm not that fond of uh, drops as a brand because of all the um, pattern similarities to smaller creators, etc. Uh, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't necessarily pick up drops yarns in like a first hand store, but since I found them in a second hand shop I um, couldn't pass them up because I really like them and they're like super drapey so it's going to be really nice so those are my whips and FOs for knitting and I now have one whip for spinning to talk about which is um, part of it is on this nitty noddy and part of it is on bobbins and part of it is on my wheel which is sitting next to me there's this is the end of the yarn <laughs> um, but yeah I am spinning the um, one of the flips I dyed the hydrangea looking one I am spinning it and I'm currently plying it it's a traditional three ply and it's you can't really see that I'm sorry but I have been filming this um, as a little bit of a spinning vlog. Hopefully the footage is alright so I can post it. So yeah that is um, that is that one. I dyed this myself and it is uh, pencil roving which is wool and nylon so that is fun and exciting. So uh, now I will be talking about the shawlography so uh, this is your spoiler warning if you don't want to see this jump to this timestamp uh, and I will talk to you again later I'm going to show you some stash enhancements and talk about some of my own design and stuff like that so uh, if you want to not see the shawlography uh, click away and I will pick up my project bag in three two one go <laughs> so shawlography time yay 
I am very, very, very much behind on this. I am just at the start of uh, section, no, not section two, uh, clue number two. Uh, so, um, yeah, <laughs> I have not gotten super far, but this is what I have now with the stripes and these little things. So yeah, I'm going to try and not drop these stitches as well. I think these stripes are so cool. They remind me of spider webs and I love that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I really enjoy the colours I chose and I'm really enjoying the knit as well. Uh, I made a tiny mistake here and um, forgot I wasn't going to pull, so I pulled a row I wasn't supposed to pull, but it's alright, it's alright. I call it a design feature or something, I don't know, but um, yeah, shotography. Um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are kind of sick of this shawl by now, especially if you're not knitting it yourself, but I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to have more time to work on it and get somewhere. But I think my favourite part so far is is this, this one, um, with the slip stitches on it, because I chose the uh, mohair to be the slip stitches and it's just so uh, delicate and nice. Um, so far, super fun, super stoked, very happy with this, um, but I wish I had more time. It's already quite big. And yeah, like I said, I'm not very far in. This is the back side, um, which also looks kind of cool, actually, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's already quite big. So um, um, and I've so far I've seen a bunch of spoilers, but sometimes I have a bit of a Teflony brain, and things tend to just run off. So I don't really remember what it's going to look like, which I am quite happy about because I want to see it as it grows and uh, yeah but it's getting harder to avoid because the cab is over it's okay to post you now um, which is of course fine uh, but yeah everybody's got so different colours as well and I have yet to see one in my colour palette choices so even if I did remember what it's going to look like I it's not going to look the same, is it? So it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really pleased with this and I'm really excited for it. So yeah. And then I was thinking I would have time to knit every single clue every single week. Oh god. No, I did not have that kind of time. So. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, again, my yarn choices, and I think I'm going to show you the back side for it, for the, because it's it's uh, visible on this side. So this is uh, Sunness Mohair, and this is Knitting Nikabi in Ruby Slippers. This is Adlibris in grey, Adlibris in, no, the black is Adlibris in black, and this is Opal in burgundy or wine red or merlot or whatever. I uh, don't have the ball bands. <laughs> but yes, excited. And it of course lives in my bag from Anna, my friend. So that's shortography done and done. So welcome back if you came back from um, not wanting to see the shawl. Uh, now I will show you some stuff I have picked up over the past while. I'm not exactly sure how long because my perception of time is bad. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the non-Christmasy stuff. So there's this uh, shop called Hobby that I'm sure a lot of you know about. Uh, and they had Halloween yarns and I just had to get on it and buy some. So I bought this one and it's um, fingering weight as well, which is 
a little bit hard to come by here so I was excited to get some self-striping Halloween sock yarn I'm gonna make Halloween socks and I'm really excited but um, yeah it's 75% uh, wool and 25% polyamide and it is yeah self-striping and Halloweeny so I got one in this colour no I got two in this colour actually but I'm only showing one for showing purposes and one in this colour which is just so cute with um, like a really dark grey, purple, another purple, orange like a pastel orange, I, I really like this one a lot so these I am excited to use um, pretty sure it's going to be socks but there's a lot of it so I'm gonna have um, some left for other things I don't know what I'm making but I had to get some Halloween yarn sadly the one that was like green and no th there were a couple that were like even more Halloweeny with like green and black and grey and more purple and orange but a brighter orange and stuff like that but they were sold out but yeah it's okay I got these and I'm really excited and then I have some more Christmassy stuff one already lives in a project bag because I am planning on designing a sock with um, what little I have left from the <laughs> Revenge of the Harpsicle that I use every year for a Christmas sock and this gorgeous uh, Ficolana Avatar it's a slight heather, slightly heathered yarn it's really beautiful um, so yeah which is 80% soap wash merino and 20% nylon looks like this I uh, don't know exactly what the sock is going to look like yet so um, for now it is living in my most Christmassy project bag just waiting for the idea to strike and then I have two of these which is also Fecal on um, it's my first time buying it actually I've never seen it in Sweden before but um, in the town we want to move to they have this in their local yarn shop so I was excited and bought some but yeah it's also merino and nylon and really soft and nice uh, this one is not heathered this is probably going to be a pair of my golden wreath socks um, but in the biggest size for a friend who I have not knit socks for in a few years now so I think he's due a pair of socks um, so yeah I've got two of those because um, I don't think one is enough for bigger feet than mine I can get away with using one but yeah <laughs> um, that's that and speaking of the golden reef sock it is going to be out for testing soon but I have somebody pre-test testing it <laughs> uh, which is Ellie of Curious Dishes and hers is so pretty just just look look at how pretty this sock is it's so crazy seeing your own design it's I've never had anybody test any of my patterns before I have a couple of things I've made obviously and designed but I've never had any anybody test it before and I'm so excited every time Every time she sends me pictures of it, I'm just like, oh my god, it's my sock. <laughs> I made that. Not the sock, but the pattern. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting all like teary-eyed. I don't know, it's, it's just really big, really big for me. So, um, it is a Christmassy sock, but um, I don't think it will be out for Christmas, but maybe testing will be out for Christmas. So if you want to test a Christmas sock, uh, you can keep an eye out on my Instagram I won't be taking a lot of people because my organisational skills are very bad but um, yes <laughs> if you want to uh, just keep an eye out for the testing post if you want to test them so that is exciting I want to do the larger size first because I've knit a pair of the smallest ones Ellie's knitting the medium size and I need to knit a pair of the bigger one um, the bigger ones so I know I have done the maths correctly 
which I suppose I could let a tester do, but um, yeah, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> but yeah, that is that. Um, I was also going to say something about, oh yeah, Christmassy socks. Festive sock along. I am late on the ball this year. I think it's still probably going. Um, but my sock for the sock along, my first sock for the sock along, I'm looking for a project bag that's right in front of me. God, I'm tired. Um, so I am going to be entering into the sock along these that I showed you already uh, as my foot. What are you doing here? <laughs> As my first, God, sorry. As my first pair of socks for this year, I'm, I'm entering these. Um, so yeah, um, I showed you already. It's the uh, Alaz Rune socks in um, Jude's cutaway, uh, zooming on for Christmas. Um, I think this year the colour no, not the colour work. The uh, knit along is hosted only on Instagram, so that people can join. Uh, that don't have Ravelry, uh, but yeah, I have not been up to speed on that because I've been doing so many other things. Um, but uh, I am excited to have a pair of Christmassy socks on my needles, and also I am waiting impatiently as the heck uh, for this year's Christmas colourway to drop in my mailbox. Uh, I know it's it's out but uh, I don't know when they will deliver it so it's somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, I hope it arrives soon. I really wanted to show it on the podcast but um, yeah, it's not here yet. So yeah I'm, I'm really excited for this year's. I, I wasn't gonna buy it but then I changed my mind. <laughs> So I'm waiting for a skein of popcorn garland from Stranded, um, which is also going to be Christmassy socks, because I, maybe I should knit a pair of Hermione socks again. <laughs> so if you're new here, you might not know this, but um, everybody else who's been watching me for a while, they probably know I collect toys. <laughs> I mostly collect My Little Ponies, but I also collect um, oh, Care Bears and... Uh, I wanted to start collecting Sylvanian families. I have one family um, and uh, yeah, some other toy brands. Uh, I really enjoy looking at them and yeah, I, I like collecting toys. Um, and I, uh, I may have bought something for my Sylvanian families collection. <laughs> And I need to show you because it's so big. <laughs> She's so big. Um, this is like I, I'm not going to talk about this for a long time, but she is so big. I'm so happy. <laughs> so there's probably going to be stuff knit for for this bunny. <laughs> so she's a she's a shop she's a shop display bunny. Um, Sylvanian family's baby and uh, I've been wanting this one in particular for so many years um, it's been in the shop window for the toy shop in this town and I think I first saw it maybe like six five six years ago something like that I was like oh if that one ever disappears I have to go in and ask them um, now this one didn't disappear from the shop window the shop disappeared. <laughs> they moved to a new location and she was still stuck in the window. <laughs> so I went down there and asked them if I could buy her, which I could. So she lives with me now. I'm really happy. So yeah, um, that's that's uh, two seconds of talk about my new baby. She doesn't have a name yet, but I love her. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'll put her down and I'll get back to talking about other things. Oh god, you're so heavy. <laughs> She's really heavy. Um, where was I? Crafty things. The project. Uh, I want to talk about the project. Uh, so, 
um, we concluded our Kickstarter project, Anna and I, uh, concluded our Kickstarter project last Friday. And oh my god, we, god, um, we had a couple of stretch goals. Uh, and those are goals that are like past the uh, level of um, the, the level you first have to get to to get the project funded. Um, I'm bad at explaining things sometimes, I'm sorry. Uh, and we got past all of our goals. So I'm so excited. <laughs> so these are like all the pictures. Again, you've seen them before. Um, and we have now sent everything into print, waiting for it to be printed and sent out to us so we can send it out to everybody who's uh, backed the Kickstarter. Uh, and it's prints and it's washi tape, which I'm so excited about. We got the washi tape. We're making an art book. Uh, that one is still not in print yet. We're still putting it together to make it perfect. Um, uh, and there's postcard postcard prints, stickers, pins, and it's just so exciting. Uh, you can, if you miss the Kickstarter and, and still want to get the the goodies, you can order uh, from Anna's Etsy. I will put a link in the description to that as well. If you hear snoring, he's snoring. Um, so yeah, that is uh, very, very exciting. I'm, I'm so happy we got to that level of, like, funded. <laughs> we sold one original painting each as well, so that's very nice. Really happy with how it went uh, for my first time doing something like this. I was not expecting it. I was really not expecting the uh, amount of positive feedback and, and for people to support the project like they did. I'm, I'm so happy and so grateful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, th this has been a great experience for me so far. Um, and I would not mind doing it more times. Let's just put it that way. So, I want to do more things with my art. So, uh, hopefully uh, this is a good way to start getting into knowing how to do these things to be able to do something with my art in the future. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I'm really happy and I'm really grateful. It's been great. So if anybody here backed or shared or liked it or anything, thank you so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> We're getting to hate. Um, that is about that. Um, other than that, I don't think I have a bunch of other things to talk about right now. Uh, the new Animal Crossing expansion DLC came out. It's really fun. I'm really enjoying it. I don't have a lot of time to play, but I played a little. It's very nice. Um, happy about that. Um, so yeah, I think that is about that. So I think that's about that for this video. Thank you all so so much for watching and for being here and uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode, episode 50 of the Witch and Its podcast. If you haven't already but would like to keep seeing what I get up to in the future with my arts and crafts and other things, um, please like and subscribe and ring the little bell notification bell thingy so you get notified when I upload a new video and also leave a comment about anything really if you have a name suggestion for my little bunny baby go ahead and leave one of those <laughs> uh, otherwise um, otherwise I will see you again in my next episode have a lovely weekend and a lovely weekend however long after that until my next upload. Um, have a good time, take care of yourself, stay safe and knit stuff and be crafty. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!